Hello and welcome to another one of DJDD videos. Today we're going to be giving an introduction of on counting techniques. There will be a more advanced video for permutations and combinations, but now we're just getting started. So there are different basic methods for counting techniques. And what we're doing here is we're looking at the probable outcomes, the number of probable outcomes, depending on the scenario. If you have n different items in your data set and you're asked to find how many different ways can you arrange the data, the n different items, the answer to that is n exclamation mark and that's read n factorial. What do we do when it's n factorial? We take n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way until we get to 1. So 4 factorial by example would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. By definition, 0 factorial is 1. Otherwise, every factorial would be 0. So, if the question were you have 3 students and you want to know how many different ways you can arrange their grades, here's a mapped out version of your answer. You can either have S1 first, and then it has to be 2 or 3 leaving the other one last. S2 can be first or S3 can be first. If you go through them that way, that's a long way, you would get six, but you could say, okay, there's three students and I'm just trying to arrange them. I'm not looking at a subgroup of the larger as a permutation or combination would be. I'm looking for the entire list. So that would be just three times two times one, okay? So again, we're looking for three students. How many ways can we arrange their grades? So S1, S2, and 3 are grades. And then we're going to take 3 factorial and multiply each term till we get to 1. So there's six ways. Hope that makes sense. What happens if there's a repeat in your list? Okay, you're trying to arrange n different items in your data set, but some of the n's are repeated. Well, if they are repeated, and let's say n is still the total number of items or observations, and r is the number of repeats, you're going to do a division of the repeats. Okay? Okay? So n factorial is the total number. And R1 factorial will be whatever, however many times the first item that's repeated is repeated. So, like, if, or I'll give you an example here in a second, but if the first item that's repeated is repeated four times, that would be a four factorial. If it's repeated twice, that would be a two factorial. Then the next observation that's repeated, and you keep doing that for all the repeats in the denominator. And the sum of the repeats in the denominator must add up to the total factorial. So if you got 10 factorial up here, you better have a total of 10 factorial down here. All right. So n is, again, the number in your data set. R1 would be the first number repeated. R2 is the second number. And you keep doing the repeats until you're done. Something that could be done in m number of ways and something else that could be done in n number of ways. To do them together, you would have m times n possible options. Okay. What do I mean by that? Let's check it out. Again, quick example is the best way to just illustrate this. If I'm looking at two major highways to Waco, three major highways to Austin from Dallas, then there's going to be two times three, six different ways to travel by major highways to Austin from Dallas. All right. So again, from Dallas to Waco, two highways. And then three major highways from Waco to Austin. Then there would be two times three, six different ways to get from Dallas to Austin. It does get a little bit more complex with combinations and permutations. What you have to take into account there is we're going to be looking at a larger group and we're going to try to arrange a smaller subgroup of the larger group. That's what permutation combinations deal with. And that's a whole different video, so make sure you 
practice the fundamentals before you go to more complex stuff and check out the example videos pause them as always for best results practice 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 thank you and have a nice day